Kelly Smith, Steve Cisco, come rolling in next. Cisco up in his Camaro. The New Jersey based runner on a 652, Kelly on a 661. As we work our way through opening round of eliminations for the Jigs, FS, SFG, Million. Presented by All Star Performance. Late tomorrow afternoon, early evening, we'll be handing a new millionaire a check. Kelly on a 661, driving Pam's truck. Minnesota based runner over on the right hand side. Locked up out of the gate. Thousandth of a second separating them. Cisco gets the win, 52-8, going 17 on the tree. Kelly Smith cruises through, 5-9-9-0. In the S10 there on the right-hand side, on his 661 dial, and, well, those numbers don't compute. But the thousandths of a second, too quick down the racetrack for Kelly. Cisco basically now has the rest of the day off. Steve Hughes, right side. Steve Cisco, left side. 621 in the left, 525 in the right. Cisco, 17 dead, five for the win in the left. Steve Hughes in the right. Tardy and under, no good. Dave Triplett, all the way from Florida. The Sunshine State, Little Vega. Making a toe up, 590 the dial for Triplett. Cisco on the left out of Jersey. 651 the dial. The third gen Camaro over here on the left hand side, going to be off and running. Triplett's Little Vega. For a 421 bow tie combination underneath the hood. See if he can track him down. Triple right, Cisco left. Florida taking on New Jersey here in Michigan. The all star performance million dollar main event. We are clean and green both sides of the racetrack. Small advantage going to Triplet, so's the win. 91 on a 90, he was 12 on the tree. Taking 17,000 stripes, 653 by Cisco. 651 dial, he was 17 at the hit. Just comes up 17,000 short down at the other end of the racetrack. Steve Cisco and Alex Miller. Miller dialed 580, Cisco dialed 620. If you like, Innova's very clean. Factory appearing, Cisco's is your jam over there in blue. If you like your Corvettes with the roof hack sawed off, Alex Miller's your guy. Might use a wizard wheel, probably not a hacksaw. Both cars in pre-stage spot as Cisco now in, Miller now in. Red light start for Alex Miller, and he didn't miss it by a whole lot. 0.0019 red, 579 one for Miller after the red light. Steve Cisco gets a free pass, 624-0 on that 620 dial. Steve Cisco and Brian Rockwell. Rockwell right side of the racetrack, 595 dial, Cisco dialed 625. The good news is I look around the room I'm working in right now, I own the joint, so this is good. It's good for my self-confidence. <laughs> I did, I just got stabbed. I thought it was gonna happen by the end of the day. Make sure you disinfect that pen before you touch it again. Steve Cisco. We'll be second to pre-stage. And Brian Rockwell in this roadster. 
High five second car is in. We move into the door slammer category, the door car category here. Champs performance round number three. Nice wheels up launch for Cisco. A little bit more height and distance than we've seen out of that car previously. And he wins the round with style. 6 26 0 on a 25 dial, taking 3,000 at the stripe and standing that baby up like a super stocker, leaving the starting line. 16 on the tree. Nice job by Cisco. Rockwell goes 594 7, had a 32 light and got to the finish line second. And Steve Cisco. And Jason Jensen come rolling in now. The 65 Chevelle Jensen. Picked up a 50K win a couple of years ago up in Stanton. Looking to see what he can do now with the Chevelle. Got the BGs tuned in on the radio playing Stand Alive, Stand Alive. Steve Cisco on the left, trying to tune him out. 627 to dial for the deuce. Double enter dragsters, lanes one and two, come on down. Double enter dragsters, lanes one and two. Come on down, Cisco on the left, 14 on the tree, gets the win in the Nova. 29 on the 27. Take an 11 foul finish line stripe for the win, 611 by Jensen. Cruising through on a 609 dial. Trailing across the finish line, and Cisco moves to round number five. They're on the left-hand side of the racetrack. Steve Cisco's Chevy Deuce down, the New Jersey-based runner. Here on the left-hand side, and Eric Thomas, his first gen Camaro on the right. 566 for Eric Cisco's Chevy Deuce. Off and running on a 631. Be up to Eric to hold his concentration, focus on the tree, cut a light, run the number, chase him down. Oh, so simple to do, or at least to say, but hard to do. Cisco off and running at the stripe, getting the win. 631, dead two on a dial with 17 on the tree. Taking seven thou package, or taking seven thou stripe with a 19 pack. Thomas, six, 565 on his 566. A little late out of the gate, tried like the Dickens to get there and just couldn't get her done. Brett Williamson on the right-hand side of the drag strip. This is a guy that has run a 57 Chevrolet for days. Well, he finally broke the 57, and now he's in this Cobalt over here, and he's adjusted to it pretty well. He's now dialed 571. Steve Sisko, left side, dial 629. You can swap cars during the race. You just have to stay in the same category. You can't go from a dragster to a door car, door car to dragster. But if you have a door car that breaks, you can get in another one, and that's exactly what Williamson did. He won the last round he was in this car, but it wasn't against Steve Sisko, who has been absolutely destroying everybody that's rolled up next to him today. Cisco leaves on the bumper, bounds his way down the racetrack, and Steve Cisco, 15 light and a win light, 631, 6, 629 dial. Cisco took 11th out for himself across the finish line stripe, and Brent Williamson, in a car he was highly unfamiliar with, still put in a pretty stout lap. Put in a pretty stout lap. The only thing cost him on that one was the reaction time, and that's just acclimating himself to the car and didn't have time to get her done. And Jeremy Kessler comes rolling in now. Looming up on the right-hand side. This car's been hitting it hard all day long. But then again, so Steve Cisco and watch the wheel stand. Those of you watching on Motormania TV, watch, check the wheel stand out of Cisco's ride. The 67 two-door post over here on the left. He's going to be going first. 628 the dial to Kepler's 551. If Jeremy Kessler wins this round, he carries the bye to the next round, and it is an odd number of cars in that next round. So he is guaranteed additional advancement so this one carries a huge additional weight for kessler it's a twofer it's a twofer the biggest twofer of his drag racing career and certainly the most financially advantageous as kessler goes into pre-stage and cisco matches him as mentioned cisco's car should leave with the wheels up for about the first hundred feet kessler's car does nothing of the sort been very consistent running right around 550 to 552 all day long 
There's the wheels up launch. There's the wheels down launch. Reaction time for Steve Sisko on the wheel stand. 001, 30 out of 28, gets him a win light. Jeremy Kessler pushed it hard at the finish line, took 11th thou and broke out running 549.8 on a 551 dial in, so there will be no buy run for Kessler. Steve Sisko is going on to the next round. Steve Sisko, on the other hand, is on the buy. He will take that. 620. Fireworks going off over the tree line. Cisco's pre-staged, fully staged. 009 red with the wheels up and the headlights on. That's even cooler. And he's got to lift early. Steve Cisco clicks it off, goes 668.2 at 81 miles an hour into the Michigan night. So here comes Cerruti and Cisco. 631 dial in for Steve Cisco. Fourth. Hun, I should say, slower than Cerruti's, or quicker, I should say, than Cerruti's 635. So, Cerruti, a slight lead to be given here, and then Cisco's going to try to wheelie him down. Reaction times have been lights out for Cisco. This thing snatching the front wheels out. He's got it timed right on the knife's edge. At least he has multiple times today with double, and I believe in one case, at least a triple zero and change reaction time. As Cisco works his way in, Cerruti's already pre-staged. A run worth many, many thousands of dollars right here. Both lined up side by side. Red light start for Cerruti. So it's going to be Cisco. Hits the tree for 29, and Cisco takes it to the stripe, 632-8 at 99 miles an hour. Steve Cisco is going to the final round of the door car category. Cerruti was 10 red, 638-6 on his 635 dial in. This is our final round in the door car category. Cisco and Hammerline. Cisco looks like he's going to be taking the left side of the racetrack. Hammerline moving into the right of the Oldsmobile. Okay. I think they're both just straight up door cars here. So here we go, as Hammerline completes the burnout right side, and Cisco on the left, they will face either Hunter Patton or Bill Swain in the All-Star Performance final round. For Hammerline, it's a 586 dial for his Oldsmobile. For Cisco, it is 629. Right, we lost our foot brake car. That will lead to semifinals. But I tell you what, Rudy did great get that far. Down to a couple guys just hit the trans brake button now. And they are doing the job fine as Jason Hammerline from Unionville, Michigan. We could have an all-Michigan final here depending on how this works out and how the next pair work out. Both cars locked in. Wheels up for Cisco as they always are. They leave within a single bow as they get to the finish line. Stripe will be Steve Cisco. Cisco goes 30 with a one on a 29 dial as Jason Hammerline breaks out. Cisco is 18 on the tree for the win. Hammerline was 19 on the tree. Then he goes 584 5 on a 586 dial, but he took 24 down at the finish line. He took about four feet down there, and that freed Steve Cisco up for a trip to the richest final round he will ever be in in his entire life. Well, speaking of fodder and people firing things at each other, these two guys are going to try to fire the best runs they have ever put together in two very long-lasting drag racing careers. Lewis Bloom, the NHRA statistician, is watching out in Los Angeles where he lives, and he has known Steve Sisko for a very long time. As Sisko comes out of the New Jersey area where he grew up and spent his years working at English Town Raceway Park, so he has seen, seen Steve Sisko do a whole lot of superhero stuff in a race car. Cisco is dialed 628. Bill Swain in the dragster is dialed 465. Swain was 
the giant killer. Swain was Swain was Godzilla who stopped Mothra, like in that movie. He saved the city. He did. Of course, Hunter Patton might argue that, but... Of course, and Hunter, an incredible <laughs> racer. Swain, yep. Swain had to put together a masterpiece of a run to beat him. It was definitely a masterpiece of a, it was a great, great semifinal there in the dragster. Steve Sisko rolling in. I'm telling you, the Chevy 2 has hiked the front end up but carried it out 125, 130 feet every lap down the racetrack today and yesterday. The most fascinating thing about this run to me is Steve Sisko has not had to run against a car as fast as Bill Swain's. Bill Swain has not had to run a against a car as slow as Sisko's. Both of them on different ends of the racetrack will be dealing with different factors. Swain having to uh, overcome his anticipation on the starting line and Sisko having to deal with a dragster that's going to try to run up his back bumper at close to 150 miles an hour. Both cars pre-stage now for the richest final round in the history of organized drag racing. Here we go. Monster wheel stand for Cisco. Swain is 004. Bill Swain of Iota, Michigan. No, oh, it goes to Cisco. 628, he's dead on one. He's 11 on the tree. Swain breaks out, taking 13th out at the finish line. Stripe, Bill Swain breaks out after having left the starting line first. Unreal. Here for the door, guys. 12,000 package. Steve Cisco wraps it up. It does all the door, guy, door car guys proud. And the place goes wild as the fireworks explode. And we can see that Steve Sisko's headlights are coming up the racetrack. Give this man a hero's welcome when he arrives underneath the exploding fireworks here at US 131 Motorsports Park. Steve Sisko of New Jersey has won more money in a single swipe than any human being on the face of the earth that has ever participated in the sport of drag racing. And the car being swarmed by the folks down there. Cisco jumps out. He's got his arms wrapped around his better half down there, and they're walking down the racetrack. An incredible moment. Consider this. Steve Cisco in one run just made $300,000 more than the runner-up at the Indy 500. In one run, he made $600,000 more than the New England Patriots guaranteed Tam Newton to make in next year's contract. He made 350% more money in one run than the winner of the Bassmaster Classic will make. And he won 10 times the amount of money in one pass than a winning PBA Professional Bowling Tournament winner can win. And he won a bazillion percentage more than what the announcing staff gets. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Steve Sisko. Great, great lap. And out of all the Nova's here this weekend, one takes home the big check.